morning, everyone. Welcome to day, um, let's see, today is day 16 of the No Salt Added Plus Exercise Challenge, although I'm not exercising for the last, in the next couple of days. So I am even more swollen today than I was yesterday, but I don't hurt too bad, um, which is good. And I'm not bleeding in my mouth anymore, so that's excellent. Um, so anyways, I wanted to make something that the recipe is from All Recipes. Um, I'm just going to put it up here for you. It's really, really super simple. It's called confetti rice. And it's called the very best confetti rice, actually. Um, but this looks really super simple. You make some rice and you put in basically what it says is whatever fruit you want, um, some nuts and some green onions. I'm all for super, super easy at the moment. So I wanted to show you what it is that I'm going to put into my confetti rice. So we already had some rice cooked up. Otherwise, I would have made brown rice, to be honest with you. But rice. I've got... Um, some slivered almonds, and I wouldn't choose normally to use an almond to be honest with you, but um, these almonds are already cut up into little tiny pieces, so I'm being lazy to be honest with you, that's what that is. Lazy. Um, and for fruit, I'm going to do dried cranberries. I thought about doing some raisins, um, but instead of doing raisins, I decided to do cranberries because they would have a little bit of a tartness to them. I'm going to put in some scallions. We have scallions that grow outside in our backyard in pots like year round, so we always have scallions. It's really, really nice. We have chives out there and parsley out there now too. And then the other thing that wasn't really listed anywhere on there was corn. I want to add that. I don't think it's necessary to add that, but that's something that I want to add. And it really does already look really pretty. I can see why they call it confetti rice. I was also thinking that maybe some black beans or something would be really good in here, but I'm just going to go with straight up and simple, just like it says. So the one thing that it does say to add to this that I don't have the ability to add right now is a tablespoon of grated orange zest, and I bet you that would make it really, really, um, have a really nice little tang and zip to it. I don't have any oranges, and so I thought about doing some lemon, um, like, a, on, like a balsamic vinegar, but with lemon. Um, but I don't have any of that either. So anyways, this is what I'm going to do. I'm not going to put lemon juice on it. I don't really think that I want to. I think I'm going to really like it and enjoy it the way that it is. But that's going to be my meal for today. I actually have some more. I'm just going to make this. I didn't know how much to put in here. So I'm going to put this in a bowl and I'll take two bowls with me. So I might need to make a little bit more. But I'm really excited about this. I think it's going to taste really good. And um, <clears throat> that's all I have for now. Um, I'm probably going to take some little snacky stuff with me too, like some of the puffed sorghum. That was actually very easy to eat, just chew on this side, not on this side. It's all like super swollen and puffy. Um, I already did my um, apple cider vinegar with a straw and diluted it in my juice. And um, I really am just finishing getting ready to go and that's it for me for now. So anyway, um, hopefully maybe by later I'll be a little bit less swollen. I took some Aleve um, just a little bit ago to try to decrease some of the swelling, but... It is what it is. Gotta have surgery and it makes you puffy. So anyway, I think my today it's actually my sinus cavity that is very swollen and um, causing me to have pain rather than the tooth area so much. And he said that, that the dentist said that was going to be the case because they did a sinus lift and it's going to make everything super swollen. Oh well, I have the next two days after work today, but I have the next two days off. So I'll have a chance to uh, unswole a little bit. I know that's not a word. Anyways. Um, that's it for me for now guys, and I will talk to you again soon. Well, hello everyone. So, I am done with work for the day, and I am just now leaving work actually. I sat <laughs> trying to get out of the, um, side, off the side street to get onto the main road for like seven minutes or something. Um, maybe, maybe six minutes anyways, for a long dang time. But anyways, um, so before I left for work this morning, I know I told you I did my apple cider vinegar, and I had... I just, I was hungry, so I just ate a whole bowl of the confetti rice um, before I came and decided that it was good, um, but it needed to, it needed just a little bit something more. So on my bowl that I took with me, I put um, just a very, very, very small amount of um, some vinegar. And I used the Italian vinegar, which I, I don't think that it needed the Italian spice at all. Any vinegar would have been fine, including um, like apple cider vinegar would have been okay, but actually the balsamic vinegar, vinegar probably would have been very, very good. A good quality balsamic vinegar tends to be somewhat sweet, um, 
zippy and sweet is how I describe it. But anyways, um, just a regular balsamic would have been just fine. So I did warm it up. Um, when I ate it at home for breakfast, it was um, like cold because the rice was cold out of the refrigerator. But all the other ingredients were room temperature. Um, in fact, the scallion was outside temperature because it had been outside. But anyways, um, and it was it was good, but I wanted to try it warmed up. So I did warm it up, and it was very good warm. Like, it was very, very good warm. My um, one technician tried it, and she really liked it. And she's like, I would never think to put cranberries and corn together. And I was like, well, you got something that's got a little bit of a tart flavor and some sweet to offset it, and it's, it sounds great to me. So anyways, yeah, she really liked that. I think for... Um, her birthday or for Christmas or something along those lines, I need to get her a bottle of the Olive Tap Italian um, vinegar. No, she's getting married next May. Maybe I'll get her that for her wedding. I'm sure her husband would be super excited to get that for their wedding. <laughs> Anyways, um, I'm going home now and I'm going to have, my husband is making waffles for the boys. Um, again, those are salt free. And I'm going to have two waffles, maybe three, maybe, um, with some applesauce on it because that really was fantastic like super super tasty um i'm not sure why it never occurred to me to think of that to eat that before in the past but it just really has never occurred to me um but it was really good so i'm going to do that um and that's it for me for today i don't really have anything else exciting like i said i can't exercise although i'm pretty sure that i could probably go home and lift some weights and it wouldn't hurt anything um but the doctor told me not to exercise, therefore I'm not going to exercise. What doctor ever told you not to exercise, right? Anyways, so I'm going to behave. I'm going to go home and not exercise, but tomorrow um, should be after day three. So I should be able to exercise again starting tomorrow, whether I want to or not. It's part of the challenge. you got to do it. I've been fairly decent about doing it most days. There have been several days that, in fact, I've told you every time I haven't. Um, so there have been several days that I haven't. But Anyways that is it for me for today guys um I'm going to go enjoy my waffles and after about my hour long drive home and take some more pain medicine because my face hurts like crazy but anyways i will talk to you guys again tomorrow